Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Monday, February 13th, 2017. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, looking at the S&P 500 E-mini futures, you're going to see that they are trading higher by about four and a half points right now to 23.17 per contract. So futures catching a little bit of a bid. They are starting to pull back a touch here, but nonetheless, they are up about four points ahead of the opening bell. Now, today is a Monday. Generally, the volume is a little bit lighter. Action is a little bit lighter. We're going to have less earnings out today, but we still have a lot of stocks in the news. I'm going to start off the day with Verizon. Verizon coming out with news that they are offering unlimited data plan service. So uh, the stock is getting hit on the back of the news. Stock right now is trading at 48.40, closed at 48.98. This may not seem like a big fall and really isn't at the moment, but Really what's important here is the other stocks that are reacting. So if you take a look at T-Mobile today, you'll see this is getting hit a little bit, trading at 61.74, closed at 62.39. If by some chance T-Mobile trades down to 57.50, there is a play there. Also in sympathy to the, T to the Verizon news, Sprint is getting hit a little bit today. That's trading at $8.73, closed at $8.96. This stock has been on a tear. It is starting to pull back. Still has pretty good intraday support around 820, somewhere down there. So keep that on the radar today if it does fall further. But Sprint and T-Mobile, both under pressure after the Verizon news. Now, AT&T is also trading a hair lower, but uh, they also have, I believe, worker disputes. So you got to watch this one a little more closer. Uh, but right now, this is trading at nine, uh, $40.95, closed at $41.38. Again, if this gets down to around $39.90, uh, peers of 40 bucks, I think there could be a bounce play there. So keep AT&T on the radar this morning. Uh, this is all uh, one of the uh, many telecoms today that are coming under pressure after Verizon announces an unlimited data plan service. So we'll see how that all plays out. We also have more stocks in the news today. Teva Pharmaceuticals in the news. The uh, drug maker here reporting earnings. Stock is getting a little bit of a bid, trading at $33.49. It closed at $32.19 on Friday. So nice little uptick. We'll see where it goes. Um, no levels here yet, but we will be watching this once the opening bell rings. Now, in sympathy to that, you have Mylan Labs trading up a little bit. This is trading at 39.82, closed at 39.31. You also have Perigo, PRGO, trading up as well. This is trading at $80.05, closed at 79.40. So, all of these uh, generic drug makers getting a, a little bit of a bid today on the back of Teva. We'll see if it can last into the closing bell. Now we have Haynes Celestial trading down big today. Stock is getting hit sharply, closed at $38.53. It is now trading at $34.57. So again, Hain getting hit on a delayed 10Q. Um, you gotta be a little bit careful. I'm not sure exactly how this is gonna play out. When I look at levels on the stock, I still, still see support around $33.50, but again, you got to be careful whenever you have a delayed 10Q or any kind of uh, delayed report coming out. And it looks like they don't even know when this will be uh, really open or due to, to be reported. So you got to be a little bit careful there. Let's take a look at the steel stocks. U.S. Steel today getting a pretty good little pop. Stock closed at 37.60. It is now trading at 38.60. This comes on the back of news that China... Um, <clears throat> may force the steel and aluminum producers to cut output. So again, a little bit of a change in news there. Uh, don't know why that's coming out or why that's being reported, but in any case it is. So um, you're getting a pop in U.S. Steel. Also, STLD, which is Steel Dynamics, that's getting a good little pop as well, trading at around 38 bucks. And Nucor Steel, NUE, catching another bid, trading here at 62.40 closed at 61 bucks. So all the steel stocks are up on a report that China may cut, uh, may force the steel and aluminum producers to cut output. So again, we'll see how that plays out once the opening bell rings. All of the steel stocks though, catching a bid, but they are a little bit overbought in the near term. So just be aware of that. We do have JC Penney's being upgraded today in the retail sector. So this is trading nicely higher, closed at $7.14 trading at $7.34 at the moment. So 
Good little pop there for J.C. Penny. So we'll see how this market plays out today. A little bit light on the news and a little bit light on, on earnings just due to the Monday, but we'll see where it goes. Next up, we have the gold market in play today. Gold is getting hit down by about nine and a half points to twelve hundred twenty-six dollars and forty cents an ounce. If you take a look at the GLD here, you'll see this is getting hit, trading at one sixteen seventy. So GLD down a little bit this morning again um, looks like we have a little bit of a stronger dollar in play that could be part of the news dollar catching a little bit of a bid up about 79 cents on the session uh, we have crude oil today trading lower by about 43 cents to $53.43 a barrel so if you take a look at the USO which is a good oil ETF you'll see that's trading at $11.44 down from 11.50 on the close on Friday so there you have it that's a little quick Monday market wrap up again um, we're going to be looking at Verizon today we're going to look at T-Mobile today Teva today Haines Celestial today US Steel all of these will be looked at in the intraday stock chat room and if you want to trade alongside of us, come on over. Take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat. You'll see everything that we are doing in there. Had a good day on Friday, and we're going to look to keep another uh, solid week. Please remember this coming Friday is options expiration. There will be a lot of upgrades and downgrades that are somewhat ridiculous. You'll also hear a lot of rumors this week leading up into the Friday expiration. So just be aware of that. A lot of game playing by the institutions. But again, perfect time for you to come over. Take a seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat and we'll guide you through everything that we're seeing there. With that being said, everybody have a great trading session and we will see you on the charts.